Today on Zoom, A, A, B, 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 and E, D. Hi guys, I'm Elise McMillan, and I started a chocolate business called Chocolate Farm. <laughs> Here's my name spelled out in alphabet pretzels. And I'm going to show you how to make them. It feels really cool. It's like soft and it's like mushy. <laughs> Very soft fish. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, a corporation for public broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! with this singer. Dear Zoom, see how many letters from the alphabet you can form with just three people. Joshua S. of Wailuku, Hawaii. Okay, we decide to see how many letters we make in 60 seconds using our bodies. You guys ready? Yep. yep. Okay, on your mark, get set. Go! Okay, since you guys are two are kind of longer than me, I'll be the middle. Oh, okay. And okay. Yeah, you go on okay, the Okay, you can be the long line. line of the B. And then buzz. And then B. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna do one person to see. Come on. I'll do it. No, we can all be oh okay. Come on, come on. C. C. Now D. I'll be the one in some Yeah, I can be. Oh, mate, you're taller than me. Uh, 30 seconds. Oh, no. Come on, guys. D. D. Is that D? Okay. Now E. E. Okay, you're oh. the long one again. Okay. Oh, E. Oh, no. Oh, E. You're kind of long. Oh, we can so. do E. No, E. F. Oh, yeah, no, E. Cool. Good job, Eric. Now F. Buzz. F. Yeah, F. No, wait and say that. Come on. F. F. Oh. Now G. Okay, um, baby, like you this. can curl. Five seconds. No, oh, we got oh. two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Good job, you guys. Oh, that's good. Okay, are okay. yeah. you guys ready? Yeah. On your mark? <laughs> Get set. Go. Okay. Me and Eric will be the long one. Go, go, go. 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 Hey, hey. I'll be long. Okay. Hey. Yum, 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 yum. D. D. I got C. 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 D. I need a D. Oh. D. E. Oh, you don't need me. E. 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 E.
driving his car. I don't know. I had a hard drive. <laughs> you get it? Like the computer hard drive? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Cafe Zoom. Here's my name spelled out in alphabet pretzels. R-A-C-H-E-L for Rachel. The recipe was sent in by Anastasia of Mendota, Illinois, and I'm going to show you how to make them. Here's what you'll need. Honey, yeast, two eggs, cooking oil, flour, salt, and one-third cup of warm water. First, take two tablespoons of honey. Really sweet. One half packet of yeast and one third cup of warm water. Then mix two tablespoons of cooking oil and then add your egg and mix it up. Next, you can gradually add one and one half cups of flour. Now you're ready to mix it. This will give you a really stiff dough. Now, you can pour your dough out on the cutting board. start to knead the dough. If you're using your hands like me, make sure you wash them. And you may want to put some flour on your hands because the dough gets really sticky and you don't want it to stick on your fingers. Put a little over the dough so it doesn't stick. And start to knead. It feels really cool. It's like soft and it's like mushy. <laughs> Spread it out. After you're done kneading, you can break a piece of the dough and roll it into a snake. And with your snake, you can make any letter you want. And I'm going to make the letter Z for zoo. Okay? Spread it out. kind of sticky. That's okay. Next, you're going to take your other egg and using the back of your spoon, spread it over your pretzel. The egg all over it. So it kind of turns it a yellowish color. Now, you're ready for your salt, and you can just sprinkle a little over the sea. Oh. Now, you're ready to cook your pretzel in the oven to about 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes or until they're golden brown. And if you're not allowed to use the oven, ask an adult to help you. your pretzels will look like when they're done. Z 
Double O M Zoom. Bon appetit. Mmm. It's really good. Hey, Bud. Yeah, Caroline? Why did the man put the cheese on the computer? I don't know. Because the mouse was hungry. <laughs> that is the computer mouse. Yeah. I'm 12 years old, and I started a chocolate business two years ago with my brother called Chocolate Farm. My grandma taught me how to make chocolate when I was about three years old, and I've made it ever since. Once I thought chocolate would be a great idea for a business, I decided I had to learn a lot more about it. So I took chocolate classes, I read all the chocolate cookbooks I could find, and I learned a lot more about chocolate. I'm like the creative part. I name the chocolates and direct the cooking and make new ideas. And my brother put up a website so we could sell our chocolate over the internet. We got lots of orders and it just kept growing and growing into a really successful business. I'm holding this rooster because the name of our chocolate company is The Chocolate Farm. Today, we're going to make chocolate farm mice. Okay, so first we have the maraschino cherries, and that's the stem is going to be the tail, and it's going to be the body. And then we have chocolate kisses, and that's going to be the face, the little nose right here. And then these are going to be the ears, the almonds, and we're going to stick them in between the kiss and the cherry. I'm going to dip the cherry in the chocolate, and we can get the cherry all covered. <laughs> and then we're going to put the kisses. And you're going to push the head real tight so it doesn't slip off when you put the ears on. And then we're going to do the almond ears. And you can take two slices of almonds and you're going to stick them where the ears should be. <laughs> and last, we're going to do the nose. You can take a toothpick and dip it in pink chocolate. The little dot where the nose is. Good job. How long before they're ready to eat? It takes about 10 minutes for them to be hard and dry. In an hour, we'll probably make over 100 of these mice. I've been making chocolate uh, since I was really little, and I just thought it was fun. I didn't even think, oh, business, no way. I just thought it's just a fun hobby. If you have a hobby or something you really like to do, and you want to turn it into a business, I just say go for it because what have you got to lose? It's a great experience. What kid wouldn't want to have a chocolate company? I mean, <laughs> it was a great idea and it fit me perfectly. Maryland sent us a great one. Her challenge is to find five consecutive numbers that add up to a hundred. Consecutive numbers are numbers that come in a row, like four, five, six, or thirty, thirty, one, thirty-two. So we have to figure out five consecutive numbers, and when you add them together, they equal one hundred. All right. I think what we have to do is we have to divide 
100 by 5, okay. because so. if we have to find 5 consecutive numbers, it equal 100. Okay, so find 10. Jack is 0. So that's 20. 20. So do you want to first pick a number, like maybe 20? Do you want to try the 20, some of the 20s? Go 20, 19, 18, 18 17. 17. And then that might be close to 100, because if we went up, it would be over 100. So, let's see. 20. So you want 20. 19. 19. 18. 20. 6, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8. That's 30. 30. Right? So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 90. Oh, that's close. It is close. We're 10 off. Could we go 30, 29? So, let's try. So, 26. Right? That's it. So, you know this is going to be 30. And then 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 4. That's 140. Hmm. So, do you want to start 25? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, so 25. It's hard. It is really. And 21. So these are, what? So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Then, then two, four, six, eight, ten. One fifteen. Close. We are close. Okay, so do you want to see if we can go by twos? Maybe twenty two? Okay. So, so try twenty two. But nineteen and eighteen won't work because if twenty if twenty one was below then nineteen okay. or eighteen will will definitely not work. So that's twenty. Twenty. And, and then, then two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. We got it. Nice job. That was excellent. That was really cool. So now that we figure out which five consecutive numbers equal to 100, do you want to try to figure out which five consecutive numbers equal to 200? Sure. Thanks. Here, let's flip the page. So hold on. <laughs> Remember when um, my idea back in the, when like we were on the 100, when I told to divide by five, mm -hmm. um, and that told us like which Oh yeah, which number to start? Yeah, well, like, around. yeah, like it told us to go in the 20s, so mm -hmm. do you want to divide by 5 with 200? So, 5 into 200 goes, 5 into 20 goes 4 times, right? Mm -hmm. And 5 is 20, 0, 0, <laughs> 40. So maybe we should start with yeah. 40. You know how last time the answer, we, we figured out 22 and then down? I think maybe if we did 42. All right. And then because, maybe. I don't know, it's just following the pattern. It, All right, it's kind so of go like, ahead. Okay. So. Nine. 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 Three. Eight. 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 All right. Okay, so. 20, right? Yeah. 20. And then 16, 20. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so. It worked. Good job! Wow. So <laughs> let's use that pattern to figure out which five consecutive numbers we can use to add up to 300. All right. Okay. So three. <laughs> Whoa. Soon we'll be up to like a thousand. So that's six. Right. Six times five is 30. Oh, all these zeros. Zero. 60. One by 62. Sure. <laughs> Two. I think it, this one will work because if it worked on all the other mm -hmm. ones then. So this is um. 20. And then this is 18. Plus 28 and then 30. It works? Yay! We did awesome. it. Good job. That yeah, that's fun. definitely the pattern. Mm -hmm. We had, first we had 22, then 42, then 62. So we've been going up by... To find five consecutive numbers that add up to 100, we divided 100 by 5. That got us to 20, our starting point. What do you think you would have to do to find six or seven consecutive numbers that add up to 100? Try it at home and send your results to Zoom. Hey, Kenny. Yeah, Eric? Where do computers go to dance? Oh, uh, I don't know. To a disco! 
of Morseville, Indiana, organized a book drive for the third grade class at her school. She collected over 200 books and donated them to the Salvation Army. Awesome job, Caitlin. Here's how you can become a member of the Zoom team. Volunteer your time, hold a fundraiser, do things that make a difference. Be sure you tell us about it at the Zoom website, where you can also find out what other kids are doing and learn how you can volunteer. Zoom into action. Zoom into action. And join the Zoom team. Hey Zoomers, do you remember when we asked you to keep track of the time that your streetlights went on? Well, here's some data we got from Boston for February, March, and April. This line graph shows the month and the day on the bottom and the time at night that the lights turned on on the side. Look at this pattern. Each month, the light goes on later and later at night. On February 1st, the street lights came on at 5.30 at night. And on March 1st, the street lights came on at 6 o'clock at night. This means that the sun sets later and later each day. I also noticed that there were some days that the street lights came on earlier. On February 7th, the street lights came on at 5.20. And just a few days before, they came on at 5.30. This makes sense because our data shows that it was rainy on February 7th, so it would be darker out and the lights would come on earlier. Also, at the beginning of April, the street lights suddenly went on much later. That's because it was the end of daylight savings time and everyone set their clocks ahead one hour. So, the lights came on an hour later than they did the day before. Why don't you try watching the streetlights in your neighborhood, right around the time that it gets dark? Be sure to keep track of what time they go on. If you do this at least three times a week, for two weeks, you'll probably start to see a pattern. Write down the date, the time, and what the weather was like, and send your data to the Zoom website at pbskids.org, where you can also see data from Zoomers around the country. <laughs> Nancy S. of Littleton, Colorado, played this game at a birthday party and said it was lots of fun. It's called Animal Alphabet. Here's how you play. Divide a group into two teams and have them face each other. The first player on one team will call it the name of an animal. So that would be Rachel. Pick an animal, Rachel. Deer. Then the first player on the opposite team has to think of another animal whose name begins with the letter D. So that would be Kenny. He might say, uh, dog. Go back and forth until another player cannot think of a word that begins with D. When this happens, the team that misses has to give up that player. You ready to play? Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Do you want to pick a letter? Should I start? Yeah. yeah. So why don't we start with that? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, flamingo. Parrot. Frog. Fish. You go pick a letter. Okay. Let me show you. Uh, oh, Alpha Lima. Lama. But I have to go with this lizard. <laughs> oh, I You're ours! Know. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Alright, I'll I'll uh, pick a letter. Oh yeah. I'll pick a letter. A snake. Uh sloth. Million dollar. Is that an animal? Yes. Yep. Oh. Siberian tiger. Oh! Oh! Shark! Salamander! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Good. Sand, sand crab, sand crab. Ah! Starfish. <laughs> um, the seagull. Snail. 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 Yes. Yeah. Seahorse. Sea donkey. Sea <laughs> donkey. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. 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 I don't know. 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 I
the letter? Um, bear. Oh. So B. Uh, b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b Oh, okay. Z zebra. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a vagrant zigger la bamba. Bye bye. Okay. Um. Rat. R. Oh. Oh. Rabbit. Um. Bye bye, you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye, you guys. Okay. A for ape. Ooh. I'll get her. <laughs> oh man. Ape. Oh, you said ape. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I get it. You know, you know you can say the same thing as Kaylee. Good shot. It's all of you and you. I'm a pillow. All right. So I will me. say... Tiger. Ooh. Oh, Rachel. Oh, you know you're ours. Why can't we think of it? Oh, Tiger. I'm going to say that. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, no, that's kangaroo. Okay, kick. Come on. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. You can find tons of recipes for snacks, a peanut butter and banana masterpiece, munchies, here's your edible spider, frozen treats, the inside room tastes like ice cream. And thirst quenchers. Yummy. At the Cafe Zoom section of your Zoom website. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> so check them out at pbskids.org. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation. America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. A private corporation funded by the American people. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.